greetings from Centre Parks, by the way. That's uh, that's the background. I hope you're all well. This is just ridiculous, though, isn't it? Oh, are you fucking having me on? Are you joking me right now? That's how deep that. This is how far they reach. Let me smoke that for you, Siri Merchant. Yeah. Let me smoke that for you, Ted Lasso Bowley. Yeah. You think you can fool us? You're a long way from Starbucks, mate. Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Let's have it right. So have it right, up the Chelsea, up the Minnows FC, big up to every single one of you live and locked in, hope everyone's doing well within life. First and foremost, I want you all to smash to pieces that like button. If you haven't smashed that like button, smash it right now. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit that so you know, you know what I'm saying, we need to get up and up the ladder, brother, and compete with all these brown envelopes. And we've got the notification bell, ding dong, let's have it right, so you know when we go live. We've got the Minnows FC Ultras membership, which is down below in the description. Salute to all the Minnows FC Ultras. Salute to all the proper Chels, all the no surrender mentality. Let's have it right. And before we get started on this, um, let's have it right. I've got a special guest. I've got a special guest to introduce everyone on the Minnows FC. It's a debut. It's a debut guest. So I want you all to smash the like button. I want you to show your respects. Let's have it right. And we're going to bring him on now. Let's have it right, yeah. One of the goats, football heritage, yeah. Football heritage, bruv. Understand me, yeah. Dutch maestro, bruv, yeah. Started, laid the foundations, bruv. That's it, right. Rude ullit. Rude goat ullit. You understand me? Heritage, bruv, yeah. He said, this great man said, yeah, he said, owners in football, if you don't love the beautiful game, then you shouldn't be in the game of football. And you have to love and understand because it's it's in here, bruv. This goat here, I want you to smash the like button for him. And he's going to chill with us, bruv. He's going to chill with us. Is that it right? So, today's video... It's going to be about the presser today. Um, uh, but what I want to start off with is Egg Bowley. Let's have it right by the Pathletic, the Bornstein, Simon Johnson, Liam Tanney, all the usual suspects. Let's have it right. Put out a poll to see what the supporters prefer. Do they prefer Siri Merchant or do they prefer Meatloaf Bowley? I would do anything for pound notes and experience. We ain't buying that. Let's have it right. Um, well, the poll, there was a result. And the result was seventy over 73% of the Chelsea supporters, the delusional lot, picked Meatloaf Bowley. Let's have it right. Don't want Siri Merchant. No one wants Siri Merchant, Joseph Fagaziano. It's more important to build business value than win or lose on the field. Let's have it right. Um, so, yeah, um, how about we do a poll where you can put who you choose, but also, would you like them both out? Because all of this waffle that they can't stay, they, uh, they can't sell, they both have to stay, that one of the shareholders has to stay, is the biggest load of bang and smash waffle. Because if you can get external investors to buy out another another owner, then let's have it right. You can sell the whole thing. Um, also, salute to the CPO, put a lovely thread today. I've retweeted it, so do go on my, on my Twitter. Um, and have a look and follow the CPO, and they landed Dan Minnells. They've had no contact with the ownership regarding moving, um, the fact that they want to move. Once they move from Stamford Bridge, as Batesy incorporated and implemented the minerals, was that we own the name Chelsea Football Club. The moment you move from where we are, Stamford Bridge, you can change the name. They'll call us what? Cowboys FC? I don't know. Maybe they'll go Seagull Merchants. Who knows, bruv? Because as it goes to, um, it was announced today that we've uh, we've appointed what's his name? Let me land it now. Let me land it now. John Tweedy is the highly rated scout from the Seagull Merchants, and do you know what he? Do you know what he scouts? He predominantly scouts wingers and number ten role. Well, 
Let's have it right. How many more of these do we need? How about a goalkeeper? Set a new back line. A new midfield. A striker. Let's have it right. But you couldn't get that over the line with Victor Osman, could you? No, of course not. Couldn't do that. Um, so, yeah, another recruit from the Seagull Merchants. How many more Seagulls are you going to bring to our football club? They're shitting all over the gaff, bro. They're shitting all over the gaff. It's an absolute joke. It's an embarrassment. And I'm fed up of it. I'm absolutely fed up with it. You can't copy their model, you clowns. Do you know why? Because they own the patent, mate. The data, the, the AI scouting, they own it, bruv, from a betting software that they implemented via Bloom. You can't copy that. But you got Kerry Wynn Stanley to try and help you make your own one. Oh, no, you didn't. You went with the MLS and Burnley to copy their and use their AI scatters. So what do you need? All these scatters for wingers and number 10s and all these scatters in, in the, in the, in the, behind the scenes if you've got AI scouting. Make it make sense. It's all a ploy. It's all a marketing tool. It's all a load of waffle. And I'm done with it. I'm absolutely done with it. But now I've got that off my chest. I want to want to go through Enzo uh, Maresca's uh, presser. A presser that exposes exactly what he is. And we all know what he is. But it's been breaking news that Ben Chilwell has been included in Chelsea's Premier League squad list, which was today, the deadline was today, in a 25-man squad. Enzo Maresca says, yes, we're, we're very happy. We've got a 25-man squad, um, and that's how I like to keep it. Well, apparently, Enzo Maresca, you came out in a presser while Ben Chilwell, through the orders of Siri Merchant and Meatloaf Bowley, the whole lot, the whole Clown Lake Brigade, let's have it right, exiled Ben Chilwell, ordered you because you are a little yes man, to script out that Ben Chilwell, along with Sterling, who, by the way, were paying 60% of his wages to play on loan at Arsenal to arrive and help strengthen them. Absolute melts, yeah. Um, exiled Ben Chilwell and told him, like Sterling, you're going to have to go elsewhere to find minutes. <laughs> they even tried to sell him. They even tried to sell him to, uh, to a Turkish team, yeah. Along with Chukameka, who has also been touted to be sold, he comes out and he says, I really, really like Carney Chukameka, but we have so many attacking midfielders. Yeah, I know. We do, don't we? we got your guy, Drewsbury Weddingall, who can't even get in, the get in the team, bruv. What are we doing here? He says, unfortunately, we didn't find solutions in the summer. Now we can use him. Oh, it's all right for you to use him. It's all right for you to use Ben Chilwell now, is it? Because you said... Go and find minutes elsewhere. Save it right. And now you look like a mug. You've been muddied. You've been muddied by Chilwell. Salute Ben Chilwell, Champions League winner, Club World Cup winner, Super Cup winner, top four consistently, elite senior player. Save it right. Part of the Roman era. The fucking one of the very few that are left. You know what I'm saying? And he survived it. He survived the brown envelope matrix. You understand me? Yeah. He says, Mareska says he will need to sit with Ben Chilwell to find a solution. What solution, fella? What, you're going to leave him with the other 13 players that couldn't get sold? What, and do what? What are they going to do? Like I say, go in the gym, like it's Reading Festival. Yeah, what are we doing here? They're going to have a party. What, 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 what? Every, for the whole season? He then says he was training apart because the plan was for him to leave. I know, and now you've got egg on your face, son. You look like an idiot. You look like a biggest yes man going. Because if you were truly backed as a gaffer, yeah, which you ain't, and you know it, because you've got to find solutions now, which we're going to get into. Um, if you were truly backed, then these owners would have made sure they would have found a loan or any deal possible to make sure that none of the players that Enzo Mariska doesn't want don't stay. Yeah? Well... He's got a problem here. He's got a problem solved now for the for the fuck ups from upstairs. And not only that, we were told by Enzo Mareska that Sterling was part of the part of the, the team. He's come on pre-season. He's a very important player to then go, oh, we need Swiss Army knives. And Raheem Sterling doesn't fit my system, like Osman doesn't fit our system. That Pornstein told us. Um, that his wages are too high, his injury records are too high. That his wages are just ridiculous and his transfer fee. Yet we went all the way down to deadline day, low-balled him, offered him 150 grand a week, insulted the geezer, 
who was ready, dressed in a full Chelsea kit, looking like a full kit wanker, waiting on deadline day to sign for Chelsea for less money that he was on at Napoli, but not that much. Not a slag, right? Is it the same as Sterling? He doesn't fit your system, but he fits... uh, uh, What's his name? Oh, one of the greatest managers ever to grace the game, Pep Guardiola. He was a Swiss Army knife for uh, Pep Guardiola. Was his third highest goal scoring uh, player behind Messi and Aguero. What are we doing here? The maths ain't mathing, as usual. And as usual, your scripts and you playing big bollocks that you're in control have backfired. And these back shots are hard, bruv, like slosh pot wets get in. You understand me? 24-7. Uh, from from all the wrong ones that I actually want to hit that. <sighs> Good luck to you. Um, but let's have it right. Now you're sitting there um, and you've got to try and come to a resolution and problem solve Chilwell. You've got to problem solve Chilwell. Well, let's have it right. Chilwell's array available. Chilwell's ready. Um, we've got, well, what a surprise. No gusto and no Rich James, both injured. And we don't even know when Rich James is coming back. Apparently he's going to come back after his suspension, he'd be back. Well, he ain't back. So have it right. So uh, uncomfortable conversations here. But we're hearing he's saying I might play Casado on the right right back and have an invert and play Gugugugurela on the left. Okay, why well, can't you play Gugugugurela on the right and play Chilwell and have natural position players? Yeah, left and right. Why can't you do that? Oh, no, we're going by the data that tells us that Casado played right back against Arsenal at the Emirates and was one of the best players, and he was inverting. So we're going to go with that. Oh, jog on, man. You're a long way from Starbucks. Don't want to hear all this nonsense, bro. I don't want to hear all this nonsense. Um, So he's come out with all that, right? He's also given a spill, which I'm going to elaborate on now. He also came out of a spill on Enzo um, on um, on the ownership. But before I get onto the ownership, he talks about set piece defending. He says we also scored from set pieces. You don't have to just watch the goals we concede. We are also going to concede from set pieces and score from set pieces. Like you said to us in pre season, we're going for sure. We're going to concede a lot of goals. Well, we don't want to concede goals from set pieces. You know what I'm saying? You build from the back, but you know your defence ain't elite enough. Let's have it right. We've got Wesley Favana turning down deals to Marseille, bruv, having an agenda fed on him when he clearly wanted out. He's got to deal with the racist captain of Enzo Fernandez, who's been robbed. You know what I'm saying? Robbed? No. Has he been robbed? Absolutely not, bruv. He got caught in 5K, bruv. What are we doing here? What are we defending here? How are people defending this guy wearing Frank Lampard's number eight shirt as well? It's an absolute insult to a football club. Yeah? And by the way, shout out Super Frank. I mean, there is no no midfielder in the game, in the Premier League, let alone in world football, that has scored 20 goals on average, plus all the assists he gets on top of that, all right? Creator, all-round midfielder, consistent every season. I mean, and this guy, Enzo Fernandez, is wearing our number eight shirt. Like, what are we doing here, bruv? It's a shambles. It's an absolute shambles. So what does he say about Enzo Fernandez? Yeah. He says, in our case, we are trying to find a balance and the players that can give us solutions. At the moment, Enzo is the only one when we have the ball playing like an attacking midfielder and dropping next to Moises to give us defensive balance. This guy runs slower than Jorginho running in mud, bruv. This guy cannot cover ground. And you're asking Moises Casado to do a Kante job of two, 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 it's a two-man job just to compensate for this guy playing the midfield. He's also come out and said, it's very difficult in the way we play that can find a midfielder that can attack like an attacking midfielder and defend like a defensive midfielder. Arsenal used Declan Rice and Gundogan in the past. In our case, he says, we are trying to find balance and find the solution at the moment. Enzo is the only one when we have the ball playing like an attacking midfielder and off the ball, dropping off with Moises to take. I mean, what are we doing here Conf- comparing Enzo Fernandez to Declan Rice? And by the way, for all you Enzo Fernandez sexuals, did you not know that Enzo Fernandez loves to watch Declan Rice? But we couldn't buy Declan Rice. We couldn't get the real deal. We had to fucking compensate. 
and, and downgrade and getting Enzo Fernandez, who is not a six. He's just not a deep line playmaker. And he ain't a number 10. He's a number eight, but he's not a very good number eight. And he ain't a good enough box to box to play with Moses Casado, who is a box to box, which means you don't have a sitter defending your back line. What are we doing here? So you've got to rely on your inverted right back or left back to compensate for the inability to do defensive work rate. And he doesn't give it any GA, bruv. Like, he doesn't contribute in attacking positions. So I'm like, I'm questioning this now. This sounds like to me, Enzo Mresca has been given the order since day one. You have to play Enzo Fernandez. You've made, we've made him captain. It's not your decision, Gaffer. It's our decision because you're our little yes man coach. And we have to shoehorn this guy into our team when Enzo clearly knows that there is not enough balance in this team. And you are going to struggle with trying to get the best out of Enzo Fernandez and trying to get balance at the same time. It ain't happening, bruv. And it ain't happening with a, without a, 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 with, with, with a third choice Seagull Merchant goalkeeper as our number one. You've got Cole Will and Fafana centre backs. You're playing plays out of position to compensate for and to cover up the injury issues we got with no right backs available. And how's our medical team doing? Uh, well, the jury's out on that one. Um, and then you've got your, your strike situation. By the way, they've extended Nicholas Jackson um, till 2033. And uh, he says, oh, I scored 70 goals and that's not enough. Great, great, lovely, lovely mentality. He's not wrong. It's not enough. It's shit. And we didn't get anything anywhere with those goals because four of those goals were against Spurs. What are we doing here, bro? What are we doing here? Let's not forget that. But the reality is, what are we doing? We're doing a whole Arsenal cronky mentality of giving Lego head uh, a, a three-year contract extension for winning fuck all since that FA Cup spending almost 800 million, all right, and having this fan base in, in limbo with this trust the process, this whole fagazi and all or nothing brigade. You know what I'm saying? It's just a joke, man. There's no mentality. So we're now going, like we're, these clans are rewarding Enzo Fernandez for being racist, giving him the captain armband. We're going to reward Nicholas Jackson for doing fuck all, really, for Chelsea and giving him an, a, a contract extension. So now you're seeing players get contract extensions. Or is it the fact that Nicholas Jackson has seen players like Cole Palmer get a, an increase because he fucking well deserves it, bruv? Because he's been our best player he's carrying us. He's going to carry us tomorrow and he's going to carry us for the rest of the season, bruv. All right? Because he's the only fucking young elite player that we bought with serious elite potential. You know what I'm saying? All right? Of course, yeah, let's have it right. He's got his being upon it. He wants to get the similar wages. He wants an increase because he's got 17 goals. But yeah, he wants to cry about, oh, it's not enough to get 17 goals. So why are you asking for a contract extension and for more money? Yeah, fucking hell. You need extra motivation, is it? Call Slosh Potwear. She'll give you the motivation that you need. We should have had Victor Osman in our number one, number nine, number one striker position. Yes, yeah, so you could hold bench, bruv. You can message Slosh Potwear. Oh, man, people going, oh, Jackson's unbelievable. He's a, he's our baller. He's our ball. Listen, deliver. Deliver on a consistent basis. Score your 25, 30 goals, and then we can have a conversation. You understand me? Rewarding failure, bruv. That's all this club does is reward failure because all we're doing ever since these clans have walked through the door is reward failure. Trust the process. Standards in the mud. I mean, when's it going to fucking well end? When's it going to end? Now, this is the classic. This is the classic. He didn't get asked many questions on the ownership, but when he was asked, he says, I try to be as honest as possible. If I spent my energy about something different, then it, it's not worth it. My focus in tomorrow's game is in the last week. I try to do the same. I can't control the other things. But you say to waste energy is about something different. It's not worth it. Well, let's have it right. These are your owners, mate, who employed you that, well, they don't give you the pressure to get top four. We got Vinci on the timeline going, don't worry about top four. We need to think about top four next year. Fuck you. Let's have it right. Let's just give you a big fuck you. All right. You tapped up brown envelope, followed by Siri Merchant and subscribed by Siri Merchant. You know what I'm saying? Um, he wants to come out and say, yeah, yeah, don't worry about top four. Um, it's a process and all this shit. All right. I don't want to hear this nonsense. Yeah. Top four is an absolute bare minimum requirement season, as is the Conference League. No excuses. I don't care. If not, not that I blame the gaffer. You sack him anyway, because he's not Chelsea level. He's got early stripes, bruv. 
Yeah. And he's got a very difficult environment to earn his stripes in. So if he does earn stripes, and he does get top four and he does win the conference league. I will salute the gaffer. hundred percent, bruv. Let's have it right. But can we see that in reality? Let's be real, man. What are we doing here, bruv? You know, dreams can come true. Not when you got clownly in power. Yeah, it's not happening, bruv. Um, uh, so what else does he say on the ownership? Because he doesn't want to waste his energy on it, even though it actually affects everything where you've got players divided in the dressing room. You've got, obviously, this whole Enzo saga's been covered up. He's not getting anything because it's down to FIFA to deal with, not the Premier League. But yet he's a Premier League player. So yeah, even though he's been racist, we're not gonna we're not gonna deal with it in the Premier League. It's all loophole merchant bro. And I'm done with it. He says, Enzo Mariska, on whether he has spoken with the ownership. He says, No, I spoke with Todd when we played City. Well, sorry, when we lost to City. Let's have it right. Um, I spoke with Beg Dad Egbali days ago. I am speaking with both. There is no problem at all. Of course, it's like John Obi McKell comes out. It's a happy place at Chelsea. No, there's no problem at all. There's just a massive fucking outright civil war at Chelsea and the ownership are going head to head, bruv. Is that it right? Yeah? And they want to buy each other out. There's nothing at all to worry about. There's nothing to think about. There's no toxic negativity around the club. It's all positive. It's all rosy. Um, in fact, like the, the Flowers Terrace, they're pushing all these lovely rosy narratives. There's fucking roses all over the Cobham, bruv. We're growing as many flowers as you want. It's beautiful. It smells beautiful. It looks beautiful. But in reality, bruv, what are we doing here, man? Dig it up and you'll find all the skeletons down there. You understand me? Uh, we dig up those skeletons, bruv. We, we dig them up. Because the reality situation is this guy's got no experience to fall back on to deal with the situation at Chelsea right now. And people are still choosing Bowley Egg Barley. Bowley, Egg Barley. I want them both out because the reality situation is they both had a go. They both had a go at trying to run Chelsea Football Club. And the, the end result, they both failed. They both failed. And all their PR battles that they're having between them, all the PR that they're throwing out amongst themselves to make themselves look good, to try and take away the blame from each other because no one's man enough or got the minerals enough to face up and take the blame and ownership and speak to the supporters and show the sports respect because we're just customers, obviously. That's what it is. Yeah. And you want to hand out false PR that we're going to bid for Earl's Court and that we've got to deal with Earl's Court when we don't. Let's have it right. And you want to move us, but you can't move us. We shall not be moved. The CPL show not be moved. Let's have it right. Because we're staying there, bruv. We're going to stay where Peter Osgood's ashes are, bruv. In the ground, understand me, yeah? We're on that penalty spot. From that centre circle, all that pitch is ours. And we own it. And you can't do nothing. So, therefore, we own the club. You don't own shit. You're just temporary landlords. And that's where the way it goes. So, I want these temporary landlords out. I want the Chelsea supporters to um, renew the lease and trust the protest. And that's where we have to go, bruv. Uh, my prediction tomorrow for the game against Bournemouth, um, we haven't won away uh, from home after European competition, after international break, sorry, since 2022, or is it 20? I can't remember, but let's have it right. Um, I'm going to go for a draw in this game. Um, someone else, uh, oh, it was Vinci, ironically. Um, he brought up this, this today, and I have to say this. He says, no team has scored more from counter-attacks than Chelsea this season. All right. And why is that bright sparks? All you tacticos, like I've been telling everyone, we're not when we play possession based football, we haven't got enough quality to break down low blocks. Let's have it right. But when we look most dangerous is when we counter attack. Because why? We are a counter attacking team. This squad has been built by data, AI scouting, Kerry Min, Stanley, Stuart Little, and the whole fucking ownership. Not a gaffer, a gaffer that wants to play pragmatic. Pep Ball, the cigar holder himself, wants to copy Pep. Oh, man, what are we doing here, bruv? I mean, like, you ain't going to be smoking them Havanas, man. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got anything, any reason to smoke them. I can smoke because I'm smoking every pack with this ownership, directors, managers, and certain players at this point. 
I'm smoking all them packs. I'm smoking the rival packs. Everyone's trying to give it big and rivals are speaking the true narrative and Chelsea supporters and platforms haven't got the minerals or bollocks to own up and land it for what it really is. And that's why you look like wrong ones. That's why you look like you're in denial and you look like you're outright bought. Whereas me, on the other hand, like I always say, eight miles, slim mineral shady, spit on the mic, last, last battle, you know the one, epic, yeah. Come on, bruv. What are we doing here, bruv? I'll come at you with everything you're going to come at me with because I already said it. So there's nothing you can come at me with, bruv, except agree with me. You understand me? That's what we do on the Minerals FC. Um, but like I say to everyone, big up to everyone. Um, I do think it'll be a draw. Uh, God forbid it's a, it's a loss. Um, but let's see. Let's see if Cole Palmer can land in cold minerals and dig us out. Respect to everyone in here. Um, salute to everyone. Um, and please put all your comments down below. Um, big up to everyone. I've even got comments from uh, from United and Arsenal supporters on my last few streams that are saying, Johnny, you need to protest. We will be there. We got Manchester United supporters and Arsenal supporters saying that they will back the Minerals FC and back Chelsea to protest against his ownership because they care and love for football. And this is not football. And what they're doing to Chelsea is destroy our football club. All right? Equity merchants, bankers, moneyball merchants, clueless yanks that have come in to destroy our football club and people are sponsoring it. I've got your rival supporters saying they want to protest with us. Yeah? To support the cause, bruv. And that is, that is admirable. And that's for football. It's for the sake of saving football, bruv. You understand me? Big up to everyone in here, man. Respect to everyone. Salute to all the Minerals FC Ultras. No surrender mentality on here. Yeah. Clown Lake out. Is now Egg Bowley out. All right. And Brown Envelope's out. And like I always say, keep winning in life. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Let's have it right. Up the Chels. Up the Minerals FC. Let's salute our Don Roman. Roman Abramovich, Roman Abramovich, Roman Abramovich, Roman Abramovich.